There is a famous saying that one man's trash is another man's treasure. Now maybe you've all heard this saying, and maybe some of you haven't, but the main idea behind it is something that may have no use to one person, in the eyes of someone else, could have massive, unlimited potential. Now, I live by that saying. I have an idea in my mind, a way of thinking that anything could be used for anything, from the smallest piece of paper to the largest plank of wood, if you only expand your mind and think, the possibilities are endless. For example, let's take a piece of paper. What is a piece of paper meant for? Well, it's meant to be written on. It's what books are made of, you know, that thing that all students hate so much. But what else can you do with it? You could fold it into a beautiful crane. You could turn it into a boat or a hat. You could make a cup and drink from it in class and annoy your teacher like I do. <laughs> or it can be one of the most dangerous things in the world and give you one of the most painful injuries, a paper cut. <laughs> but in my case, I make music. Ever since I was young, I'd always been interested in music. So I joined the school orchestra in fifth grade, the first chance I had. When I got there and I started to play the music and learn about it, I realized that there were so many different sounds, styles, and different types of instruments. <laughs> I couldn't just play one instrument, like the one I was assigned. I had to play them all. But me being so young, only 12 years old, and not having a job, of course, who wants to hire a 12-year-old to do any work? I couldn't possibly afford to buy all these exotic instruments. So what would I do? Well. I would make them. I would go around asking my mother and father, Mom, Dad, do you have a, a string? Do you have twine? Do you have uh, paper clips, toothpicks? And I was also asking my dad's friends, who some worked on construction sites, do you have um, wooden boards? Do you have uh, plastic? Do you have polycarbonate sheets, uh, sheet metal? Anything I could get my hands on. And in the end, just some of my hard work would end up like this. Now, this is a traditional instrument from Cambodia called a throw sao, and it's used, it's been used since the Chinese came over in the 1100s, and made out of palm wood, which was reused, and cracked, and shattered, but with a little bit of attention, and, well, quick hands, I was able to make it playable again. But what might you find laying around in your house, or even in your garage, or something someone may have in a trash can that you can build things out of? Let me, let me just show you real quick. What do we have here? My friends, absolute trash. Now, what can we do with any of this? Well, we have a piece of PVC pipe, of course, and we have some dowel rod that, for some reason, looks to have been left outside. What can we do with these? Well, of course, you could hit someone who's attacking you over the head with it, but you could also make a beautiful flute. It doesn't look impressive, and in all reality, it isn't. Anyone could do this with a drill, a piece of PVC pipe, and a piece of dowel rod. This possibly can't sound beautiful, could it? Made of absolute trash. It's even cracked. But I'll let you all be the deciders of that. Part of a traditional Cambodian lullaby. 
something you'd sing to your children. And isn't that just amazing that you can create something like this from something that is regarded as trash, junk, should be thrown away and in the landfill. What can you do with uh, a coconut? Well, you can eat the meat inside, like what it's meant for, and then most people just take the coconut and throw it in a trash can. But what can you do with it? You can make a cup from it, you can drink from it, you could even make a bowl. Or you could make a Hawaiian dancing attire, if I had some grass with me. <laughs> but you could also make one of my most beloved and favorite instruments, once again from Cambodia. I'm not sure if you can see a theme yet. <laughs> but this is the Tro U, a low-pitched fiddle made of the base of a coconut. And it's important to note that not every creation, not everything everybody makes turns out as planned. And this is a great example. Um, yes, yes, absolutely terrible. Yes. <laughs> it didn't work. But with a little refining, and of course, absolute trash, someone threw this away. My grandmother threw it away, and I took it out of the trash. She asked me, she said, Junior, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm going to make something. She said, oh, it's trash. I said, I will show you. It's much more than trash. Now, what you see here is made of simply trash. Everything, nothing was bought. Everything I found, I asked people for. Even the diaphragm, which is this resonator, is made of a piece of paper. The strings are from our local guitar class and were being thrown away. So I picked them out of the trash can. But why, why would I do this? Why would I take the time to root through the trash and build these things? Well, in my case, I use it as a way to escape some pressures of life. Uh, the National Health Institute says that nearly one-third of the population suffers from some type of anxiety or depression, and that Studies have shown by having some sort of hobby, some sort of breakaway from the world, it can significantly decrease the effects of anxiety and depression. Not only is it good for you, but it's also great for the environment as well. A very sad and tragic knowing from the EPA's research is that more than 75% of all things in landfills could be be recycled and reused and repurposed. The key word there is could. I'm not showing you what I have done because I want you all to do exactly what I have done. I'm hoping that by showing you this, it may spark something in your mind that makes you think of things just a little bit differently. For example, wood. It grows everywhere except for the plains. But it's cracked. It's absolute trash. This was laying outside for who knows how long. But if you have a larger piece of wood and you have access to fishing line, what can you do with fishing line? Well, you can go fishing with it, of course. But if you take it and you stretch it and twist it and mangle it, you can turn it into an amazing acoustical string. So my friends, Next time you're walking down the street, you are taking a stroll on the sidewalk or riding your bike through a park, and you see someone throw something away, a tin can, water bottle, 
a plastic bag, even a paper bag. So ask yourself, think to yourself, whose trash could become my next treasure? Thank you very much. Thank you.